Hello and welcome to more Peasant Cube. What do we got here? Ooh, what is this card? At the beginning of your upkeep, you gain two life. You can mill a card and each opponent loses one life. I don't think that's worth the extremely high, like, hard to cast. Effect to take this early, but it's probably good. Blood Artist is a very nice effect. Furled Mystic has quite a few combos in this format. Um, I like the Sprite Prison Realm. Dismal Backwater, not as good as a Bounce Land, but still maybe something worth taking. Part of me is leaning towards Hedron Archive because like just having mana in this format is so valuable and there are signets so you can go like signet into archive. The, the downside is it doesn't fix your colored mana so I could just start with Dismal Backwater and go from there. I guess I'm just going to take the Backwater and stay open. I've really not had any problems getting enough playables. Well, there's a Mother of Runes so that changes. Oh, there's a Vivid Marsh. So I honestly think like five color good stuff is just better than like aggressive decks so i think mother of runes might be the best card in the cube but the archetypes that it's in are generally worse than like just taking all the the good color fixing and drafting like dead drops and things like that however it's hard to say i, I don't know if i want to go aggressive or big mana because i've drafted mom before and she i guess i never drew her also, there's Juniper Order Ranger. I think because there's two very good aggressive cards, I'm just going to take Vivid Marsh and hope to wheel something like a Dendrop or a Preordain. But we'll see. We'll just take these and go from there. Now, ooh, a Sprouting Thrynax is in this. That's good. Um, I'm looking at Vengeful Rebirth. That card is obviously fantastic. If you saw my last draft, Sprouting Thrynax, or not last draft, like two drafts ago. Sprouting Thrynax makes three ones. Rush Respire is good fixing, but... I I think I just want to take the Rebirth here. Yeah, it's a good card. <laughs> Again, I, I honestly think five color stuff is a legitimate archetype in Peasant because the fixing is not good enough to make aggressive decks too streamlined and the removal is better in Peasant than it is in Pauper. So you can, you know, there is more things that kill a bunch of creatures at once instead of just like Electricery, for example. I love Smiting Helix, but you can't pass Bounce Lands this late. I know it's only fourth pick, so maybe you can, but Bounce Lands are fantastic. They just, they make your mana work so well. There's a Slosnia Sanctuary, sure. Blue Honden is quite good too, but you gotta take the Bounce Lands first and then you can pick up playables later on. Even even an off-color Bounce Land, if, I, like, if I'm not playing white, this is still just so valuable because it taps for two mana. So... Again, I mentioned this, you have two bounce lands, or you have one bounce land and one land. Ooh, do I just keep taking mana? No, I think I want to take deep analysis. This is hard because Vivid Grove basically means we can do anything we want. Let's just take Vivid Grove. We're, we're going to be fine, don't worry. <laughs> what a start to a draft, right? Uh, okay, Soul Tide Charm, destroy a monocolored creature, artifact, or enchantment. Pillory of the Sleepless is quite good. It's a way to just kill your opponent. Penumbra Worm gives you inevitability, but it is seven mana, and you don't need that many seven mana plays. This is three mana, two damage to target creature, and then one damage to each creature that each opponent controls. Destroy target monocolored creature, artifact, or enchantment. Draw two cards. I think I'm going to take Soul Tide Charm over Pillory, although this does damage over time. I'm going to take the Charm. I don't know. There's a lot of ways to bounce creatures to get around Pillory of the Sleepless, so... I'm not too in love with it. Four damage to each creature, or you can cycle it to do one. That is good, but Treasure Cruise Vengeful Rebirth is a very legitimate combo. I like Bear's Companion too, but Treasure Cruise is better. It's just, like, this combo is so good. You do eight damage to the face and just get them. Um, there is a Blood Artist. So I don't know if I really like the ability to gain two life every turn. I mean, it's fine. There's Chittering Rats which is okay. This is funny to play and like get your opponent. I could take regrowth because just getting back stuff is actually kind of nice. I just don't like how it's not good in your opening hand. Like it only has one mode and that is getting back things. So I think I just take chittering rats, although double black is gonna be hard to cast. All right, that's fine. It's a good tempo play against other controlling decks. Wow, Juniper Order Ranger came around. What? <laughs> no respect right there. Um. I was going to take Dead Drop, but I'm kind of leaning towards Sun Scourge Champion now. It's a 3 mana 2-3 that gains 2 life, so if you play it early it's good. And I already have Treasure Cruise, so 
I don't want too many more delve cards. And it's just like, it stonewalls a lot of creatures. It's just a good play. Sprouting Thrynax, sure. This gains one life. I don't care that much about that. We'll take the Thrynax. Um, it's looking like I need more mana now because we're <laughs> a little bit ambitious with our mana costs. Uh, Raging Registrar attacks and deals one damage to any target. It's also a four mana, four, four. Okay. Don't know what's going on, but I just got a branching bolt, so it's hard to be too mad. That card is absolutely fantastic. Torrent of Souls gets a creature back and gives haste. Unfortunately, this does not have flash or instant, so I'm not too much in love with it. But I do like the Stinger. That's actually a really nice card. I'll play Stinger. Ooh, Cone of Flame. Is it Signet? Oh, there's a lot of good cards here. The Gargoyle is a 2-2 that becomes a 4-2. I love the Aetherborn. I think I gotta take Is it Signet? Um, right now my curve starts at 3. You need Signets really to facilitate playing things like Treasure Cruise, Rebirth, and all that. So, hopefully we wheel Cone of Flame, but if we don't, it's not the end of the world. Um, you, you just really gotta take the Signets while you can. There's a Bounce Land. So right now I have two. This would be the third. There is Eternal Witness, Kitchen Finks. Sarah Angel's fine, it's probably gonna die. So I think it's really between Eternal Witness and Golgari Rot Farm. This is much better than Regrowth, but it is double green, which makes it a bit hard to cast. So I think I'm just going to take the Rot Farm and then see what comes around. Um, Lightning Bolt. Ooh, Naya Charm. That's the card. There's also Fight with Fire. Maybe I just take Bolt because it's so efficient. And then I wheel Naya Charm because probably nobody has the mana for it because someone's been taking all of the <laughs> all of the mana fixing in this draft. I don't know who that would be, but I heard someone was doing it. I also really like the Wanderer. The Wanderer is very good against this deck, right? I try and Vengeful Rebirth them, and they just have the Wanderer out. I just get got. Would I prefer Fire Ice over Lightning Bolt? No, I'm just going to take Bolt. It's the most efficient. Ooh, Electrolyze. What is going on? Why are there so many Bounce Lands? <laughs> Guys, these cards are really, really good. Also, I like Armor Max Stomper, but I have to take Electrolyze here. I could have gotten quite a few Hondans, but the Static Effect, I think, is a little bit too slow at 5 mana for most of them. Um, so what's really important is stabilizing the board. Once the board is stabilized, then you can win with basically anything. I'm going to take Electrolyze. We might even wheel an Urban Evolution. There's a Savage Twister. There's also a Braid, Mindstone. Actually, Bloodbraid Elf looks kind of awesome in this deck too. Ooh, this is hard. This is actually very hard. The Twister is probably what I need to take. It's just, for four mana, I can kill, do two damage to everything. Yeah. Ooh, I like Charging Monster Sword too. All right, I'll take the Twister. I really need to prioritize Ramp now, though. Deemworthy is fine, but I think I want Faith's Fetters a little bit more. Um, four mana do two and draw card is okay, but the life gain will probably help me stay alive a bit more. Um, I think I gotta take, ooh, Incremental Blight. Put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature, two counters on a, another one, three on a third. I think I still need some more early plays, and Lightning Helix is quite perfect in that regard. Um, ooh, Nahiri. Nahiri is very good. Tribal Flames is also interesting, but I'm honestly not going to have that many basic land types. I could literally draft the same deck I had before, but I think Nahiri is actually just better. I don't care about the equipping or whatever, but like I can play her, kill a tapped creature, and then they have to like attack her. It is four mana, whereas Tribal Flames is something I can play turn two. But I have so many non-basics that I think we want a Nahiri. I just got to get like one or two more Signets. Ooh, Sunlands. Sunlands is good. Sorry, Basilica, Bellhaunt, and other things. I just need a way to survive. Although, do I? That's so hard to cast. We'll just take Sunlands. I'm not going to be greedy. Okay, so I wield Esper Charm. I'm not going to take Jelectro. They could just kill it. Um, Torrent of Scarabs is actually pretty funny as well as a win condition, but I think we're just going to take the charm here. The, there's so many good modes here, like instant speed discard is really nice. Like let's say they have one card in hand, they drop to two. You make them discard both, they can't do anything that turn is very good. I just, we really want one more of these. I took this card so highly because I know our deck needs it. And then we need a, not too much more fixing, but we do need more fixing. Hmm, there's Naya Charm. There's also Fire Ice and the Wanderer. And this just eats creatures. I think I actually got to take the Wanderer. 
This effect is so strong. I know this is amazing. I can get back Vengeful Rebirth and stuff, but I don't think I need it. Like, I don't know why this card is going so late. There's an Arborback Stomper, sure. A lot better than Crusher just because it five mana is so much cheaper than eight. And the, the five life it gains when it enters the battlefield is fantastic. Um, cards I don't want to cut. Sprouting Thrynax, I'll bring in against some decks, but it is kind of hard to cast, although I guess that's the theme of this deck. Same with this guy. I, I want things that like have an effect immediately, like Sun Scourge Champion. Even if they kill it, I gain life, and then I can trade a card to turn this into a 4-4-2-3 four, four, that gains 4. Wow, Charging Monster Sword. When this enters the battlefield, it deals 1 damage to each of up to 2 target creatures. I guess I take Dance with Devils. I know Monster Sword is good, but it's just going to die in this deck because... Timbolt's Rager, sure. Um... Because they're going to use the remove on something and it's going to be my 5-5. Five five. So this lends itself to like some really good combat blowouts. And I have a lot of instants now, so I could just pass turn with a bunch of mana up. And then go from there. Icy Manipulator? Oh man. Now that's a card. Uh, there also is Myriad Landscape, but they have to share a land type, so that's not the best. I think I just take Icy Manipulator. That card is so good. <laughs> Um, then I can wheel something like Doomfall or Engrass Rampage, sure. Um, I, oh, Kaya, Meteor Golem, Rite of the Raging Storm. So if I take this, that means I don't have to play against it. Although I do have um, Esper Charm to kill it. Kaya plus the Wanderer is so dirty. Although I guess if I take that, there is a concern of how do I win the game. Right now I have 19 playables with some cards I'd like to cut. I think I'm just going to take Tranquil Cove. I really have to prioritize fixing very highly. Jungle Shrine. Oh, Recto Signet. Perfect. That's the second Signet. So we're looking for, I think, the third Signet. Am I okay with that? I'm. The thing I'm concerned about now is I don't have that much card advantage. So I could see that maybe I just stop at two Signets and I take a Sandstep Citadel. How many playables do I have? 20, and I would like to cut not that much. But I need a way to draw more cards. So like, Obzon Charm, for example, would be good. I do have a couple Golgari cards. I think... Hmm. I have a lot of threes, but I also have a lot of bounce lands. I think I'm just going to take the tri land. It's really hard to say, but... Ooh, Death Sprout. I love Death Sprout. Fixing and removal in the same card. It's perfect. Um, Angler Drake is good. Talisman is fine, but this is the card for me. Okay, so we got that going on. Ooh, Aetherize is good. I do like Aetherize. Thundering Jin is quite funny, but he might just die. That's not necessarily a reason to not play it. There's also Wall of Denial, which just stays alive forever. I think I could also take this if I want to be able to cast all of my spells. I'm just a little bit worried about being able to win. Um, I just have the one of Vengeful Rebirth. I don't have any more direct damage. Maybe Naya Charm was necessary. Um, I have True Fire Captain plus Savage Twister, I guess. How is my blue fixing looking? Because I have one, two, three, four blue spells, and right now I have one, two, three, four, five blue fixing. I'm gonna take the land. I don't know. Ooh, Sifter Worm. There we go. That's the card for me. Although Mystic Genesis is quite good. Counter spell make an ooze. This is a 7-7 seven, seven that gains life. Spider spawning with three creatures is not where you want to be. I don't think Team Charm is for this deck. It's between these two. This is five mana, but it's so good. It just gives me a way to deal with anything, but this card, 7 mana, 7, 7, scry 3, gain a bunch. I wish I had Penumbra Worm instead of that. I think with this deck I might just take the Mystic Genesis. I'm going to be holding up mana every turn, so Trumpeting Herd is good. Forgotten Cave for Cycling is also interesting. Um, this deck could flood out, but I guess we could take the Trumpeting Herd. Here's Enlisted Worm, which is... Now a little bit awkward with Mystic Genesis and Savage Twister. So I guess we're just going to take Angrass Rampage for the early plays. Raging Swordtooth is good. Untamed Kavu is fine. I mean, this is a 5 mana 5 5 trample. I'm a little bit worried about winning the game on time. Just slightly. I might need Read the Bones. Because I have, I have some big boys. Let's take Read the Bones. We're going to win on card advantage. We have enough to win. No worries. What does this do? Whenever this attacks, target creature can't block. It's a little bit expensive, I think. Um, I mean, I could play every card in my deck, and then I just went off of, like, decking them. Put one into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. And this is, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard, and this only gets back a permanent card. So I guess I want 
The Soothsayer is more powerful as a 2-5. It's hard to say. We got Obzon Charm, which is nice. Draw 2, lose 2. So I guess that's better than Read the Bones. Blood for Bones is fine, but I don't have enough creatures to make that good. Although it would be fun with, like, Sprouting Thrine Axe. Peace Strider. I think a Peace Strider, I guess, but I'm not going to play it. Okay, last pick Jungle Hollow. Not complaining. So, okay. <laughs> this mana base is a little bit ambitious, I'll admit that. What are we looking at? White seems to be difficult. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Right now I only have five white sources. So I guess I don't have that many white spells though. So it's actually not that bad. I'm going to play one planes and then all of these are just single white. That's actually not too bad. Um, this is 26 playable. So I do need to make a few cuts. And thinking Soltai Soothsayer. Well, maybe I just play a little bit more than... 60 cards so I don't deck, but I think that's probably not optimal. I can cut the Soothsayer just because it decks me a little bit, right? It mills four, and I'm probably going to need like every card in my deck to win the game. I like all the charms. They all do good things and they draw cards and whatnot. Um, the Stinger, I guess I can side in. And then with this many bounce lands, running 16 land is not that bad. Uh, <laughs> how much red do I have? One, two, three... Or five for one, two, three, four. Not that much. So I don't need know if I need double red. Um well let's add this and see what it looks like. That's 16 land with bounce land, bounce land. Do I only have two bounce lands? No, I have three. Okay, 16 land with three bounce land, I think is okay. Um I just have to make sure the mana works out. So black, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten black is good. Green, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight green is okay. It does make trumpeting herd a little bit awkward. So maybe there's something I would rather run, like a Sultai Soothsayer. But it's four mana for two three threes. I gotta take that. Okay, then white, I already counted as okay. Blue might be awkward. One, two, three, no, four. Five, six, seven blue. That's fine, actually. I think the mana's okay. All right. We're <laughs> Can he keep getting away with this? We will find out. See you guys round one. So I'm on the draw. I don't currently have red mana. Keeping this hand. I have every color except for red. They say you too. Thank you. We just got to hope that their draw is slow. There's our Death Sprout. Okay. Death Sprout gives us red. It's kind of weird that splashing Death Sprout for fixing is the strategy here. Please don't be anything too scary. Uh, that's actually quite good, although that might play into Branching Bolt if I draw red mana. Ooh. So I go Sandstep Citadel. If they're going to play a ground creature, then I get to Branching Bolt two things. And then I get to Death Sprout. That's the true dream. Oh, that's not the true dream. I think I'm just dead. Oh, wait, I have Fate Spiders. It's a lot of damage, though, that's for sure. Jungle Hollow. Um, I guess I'll hold a Branching Bolt this turn. Yes, I do have all the colors. This only does three damage, so I can't kill the sprite. Um, given the lands that they've played, I don't think that they have too many counter spells. They milled a Freebooter. I feel like you would want a Freebooter against this, but maybe they just have um, counter spells. We'll see. Evoked Moldrifter. So they missed a land drop, I'm guessing. Ugh, that's good for them. But I get to face fetters the Night Veil Sprite. There's a Vengeful Rebirth. Okay. So there's black, black. Let's play a green. Stop that from hitting me. It's funny that I could misclick and face fetters the Griffin Guide. <laughs> How terrible would that be? I didn't want to Death Sprout the Sprite because then they would get a 2 2 Flying Griffin. Create four bird creature tokens. Okay. Um, I do have Savage Twister in my deck. That is quite good though. Dismal backwater. So I guess I need double blue at some point and I have black, black, green so I can cast Death Sprout if I need to. That's pretty good against us. I don't have that much like incremental ping. I do have, I don't think I actually have a flying blocker. <laughs> Ground creature with three toughness. Uh, Okay. Well, that's gonna get hit by, I think I have to play a removal spell here. Am I gonna Death Sprout a bird token? I think I am. And then I can Branching Bolt the Indulgent Tormentor because it does three. 
Let's grab an island, I think. Uh, no, I only have one red source right now. Let's grab a mountain. Take three. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to do this while they're tapped out. Let's start with Electrolyze, killing these two, and I can still cast Branching Bolt. Green, that red. Just going to kill this. Then I'm going to play a land that gains me life. Then pass turn. I have Esper Charm if I need to. They only have one flying bird left. But I had to use a lot to kill their birds. Migratory Root is quite good against my deck. First Strike Mentor. Okay. Um, there's their looter. So they successfully played around Branching Bolt somehow. And if I Savage Twister for three, or even two, I think we're okay. I mean, I have to draw it first, obviously, but... Hmm. So I can Esper Charm them, but I think me getting more cards is more important. I also only have one white source right now. So white, black... Blue. Draw two. There's Treasure Cruise. There's also Dance with Devils. Um, they're going to attack in Mentor. Hmm. So I want to play Chi Cruise before I Vengeful Rebirth. I think I'm just going to go with Dance with Devils this turn. Playing Swamp. Is it Signet? And then holding up the Dance because it's an instant. And then I get to go T Cruise, Vengeful Rebirth. What do they have? If they kill my Signet, I'm just going to cast this now. Consign. Okay. Well, I kind of regret not playing my Selesnya Sanctuary. Let's see what they mentor onto. They don't even attack with the looter. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot of damage. Um, do I want... I mean, I'm going to cast this, so I might as well do it. The, the thing I would like to do is double block the Sunhome Stalwart. But if I do that, they can just assign all of the damage to one creature. Although I guess at that point, then I trade for the Stalwart, right? Because then this dies and does damage to it. Yeah, that actually seems okay. Because I double block here. If they do all the damage to this devil, then it dies, does one here, and then this kills it. And if they don't do that, then I can kill the Stalwart or the Flyer. Okay, so what do I want to kill? I'm looking at killing the 2-2 two, two first strike mentor, but I do have a lot of things that can block that coming, so I'm going to kill this bird. They loot, sure. I have to play around uh, Flashback of Oblivion. It's going to hurt. Yeah, I think they're doing that. Yep, so we're discarding Sanctuary, and I don't... Can I discard Faith's Fetters? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a madman. Discard Fetters. One is like, what? There's a Boreal Stomper, so that deals with a lot of things. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can play a Boreal Stomper. I guess I should lead with Treasure Cruise. Getting rid of Sanctuary, Dance with Devils. Probably don't need Death Sprout. This costs four now. One, two, three, four, five. So I have to exile one more. We'll just get rid of Electrolyze, I guess. Right here, so I'll still have five available. The Wanderer is power four or greater. Let's play our Stomper. If they have days, I'm gonna cry. Okay, good, good. And then we're gonna actually bounce our Jungle Hollow because I just want to make sure I can gain life. Pass turn. They have only three cards in hand, and I get to Vengeful Rebirth if I need to. They have been a lot of lands. And they're looting. <laughs> I mean, decking... The wow, that's a lot of lands discarded. Vivid Marsh. Okay. I really do want Vengeful Rebirth to resolve. But they only have two cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. This. Getting back Treasure Cruise. Um, this makes a white griffin. I think I'm just going to go face. Mm, is it worth doing eight to the face? I mean, killing this doesn't accomplish that much. Although it does make it a 2-2, two -two, so I can kill it easier. All right, we'll stabilize the board. Perfect. They get a 2-2, two -two, which is okay. Um, I could Sunlance the Merfolk looter. I think I'm going to. I don't want them looting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if they trade for my Arborback Stomper, I can cast a Treasure Cruise. <laughs> I think I'm okay attacking here. All right, let's just play Jungle Hollow and pass turn. Gain a bit of life. So I'm hitting for five, they're hitting for four currently. 
And this plays around them like killing my armor back stomper, which is something that could definitely happen. Ooh, lightning helix was fantastic. So let's attack again. I don't think I have any real reason to not just treasure cruise my whole graveyard. Three, two, one, draw three. Ooh, now I have Mystic Genesis. Do I have it up? I do. Let's play Vivid Marsh. One, two, three, four. So I can hold up. Yeah, I can hold up Lightning Helix and have Icy Manipulator available. And I don't need to tap down any of their mana. That's okay. Read the bones. So let's cast this before they draw anything. Lightning Helix, the Stalwart. I'll have Counter Magic up next turn. I guess I just counter kill the Griffin, right? Yeah. And they draw two, lose two life. I could have hit their face. They would be at five, and then Stomper just kills them. Maybe that would have been better. All right. <laughs> They've had enough. Opponent just got beat into submission. So they have quite a few flying creatures. Also, the Stinger seems necessary against their like random 1-1s. One Raging Registaur is also interesting. But this has to attack to do it, whereas this just does it anytime. Also, I know Branching Bolt is going to be good. Angrath's Rampage does look a little bit medium. So maybe I just bring in the Stinger instead of the Rampage. Because they, they have more tokens than anything. And run it like that. Well, this hand is slow, but I'm not going to mulligan. Because we do... Oh, wow. <laughs> this is going to be the slowest draw of all time. <laughs> Um, if I draw an untapped land though, then we'll be okay. This would have been so much better on the play. I do have to discard one card. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm okay just playing this. Passing turn. I know I don't have Lightning Bolt available, but it gives me an out to draw a Signet so I don't have to discard the hand size. Because their draw is very slow as well. Or I could just draw a Mountain. Okay. I mean, I have Lightning Bolt available at least. So like, if, if I get to go like Bolt a creature, and then play a bounce land, that's going to be fantastic. Because, again, I have six lands, which is a lot, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana off of six lands, which is ridiculous. Nightfell Sprite is dying for sure. Hold this. None of that surveil nonsense. So now I don't have to discard the hand size. Lightning Helix, I need white mana. So we're going to play the Sanctuary, bouncing the forest because I have enough other green. Esper Charm, I'm going to have to play Golgari Rot Farm or the Carnarium to get there. It's going to be the birds. Okay, that's going to die to Lightning Helix. Ooh, that's going to be good coming forward. So kill that now. And I don't have double blue, so that's not going to be good going forward. I think I just have to play the Carnarium, bouncing the mountain. Pass turn. I still have seven cards in hand. <laughs> this is the power of Bounce Lands. Um, if they play anything big scary, I can Fate Sweaters. I need to find a blue source for Genesis, but this is more of a late game card anyway. Hopefully they don't make a bunch of bird tokens. It's still beatable, but the bird tokens would be their best play. And Barrow writes that. Okay, so now that's actually a bit problematic. Draw a card unless they sacrifice a creature or pay three life. Um, destroy target monocolored creature. Then they can flashback on Burial Rites. I can face fetters it, but that causes me problems. Hmm. What do I want to do here? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I can... I don't have double blue, so I can't double charm. So I guess we just kill this. They get it back. Hmm. All right. Blue, green, black. Then I play a forest, because I would like to trumpeting herd or something. Can't do anything past turn. Tormentor is actually good against my deck in, with the addition of Unburial Rites because they just get him back. Then I'm in the same position. I can face fetters to buy some time. I can sacrifice my Trumpeting Herd tokens or something. Yep. And I have like branching bolts and things. Is it Signet? So that gives me the second blue that I need. So I'm just going to pay three life on their upkeep and hold up Mystic Genesis. Right, I have blue, blue, green. And then I can Esper Charm at the end of turn to draw some cards. So I'm going to lose a bit of life here, but that's okay. Yeah, this combination is actually very strong against my deck. Something very expensive. The thing that makes bird tokens, Shadow Mage Infiltrator. 
So I make a 3 3 in that case. Sure. Uh, it's just so hard on the mana, you know? <laughs> At least now I have a 3 3. Ooh, Nahiri, perfect. Good work, Nahiri. Play you, do 3 damage to the Tormentor. They didn't counter my Mystic Genesis, so I imagine that's just going down. Nice. I have a 3 3 first strike. How am I beating this? Ulcerate? Sure. So the fact that they're killing my creature makes me... They have three cards in hand. I'm just going to play Trumpeting Herd. Get more dudes. Play Rot Farm. Rot Farm will bounce a forest. <clears throat> Hopefully they don't bounce a thing and then make me discard two. But even in that case, I just get to keep Esper Charm and then draw two cards. Now they make birds. Oh, okay. Or six Vigilance. Make a 3-3. Three, three. Dance with Devils. I like that. So let's just face fetter the Sentinel. One, two, three, four. Oh, then I can't Esper Charm. Hmm. That's okay. I'm going to hold this land in hand to play around their discard effect. I gain some life. Um, so they get to tap down my Elephant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana off of five lands. What a card. Oof, okay. Um, can they flash it back as well? One, two, three, four, five. They can. So, ooh, and a Kite Cell Freebooter. But that means they can't flash it back. Okay. So they're just going to take face fetters, I imagine. Hmm. Maybe I don't... I think I'm going to play Dance with Devils now. They take fetters. They could also take Esper Charm, which might make more sense. But I just want to empty my hand before they aftermath me. Yeah, they do take Esper Charm. So I can empty my hand now. Um, do I want to? Do I want to let them give me my Esper Charm back? I think that's okay. It's just one card. We're gonna face fetters this. Play a forest. Play the signet. I tap one elephant. So they can like bounce an elephant and make me discard, but that's fine. <clears throat> they take a bit of damage. And they have two cards in hand. Uh-oh, is this the birds? Ooh, that's good. That's good for them. Although, it can't really block still. Like, none of their creatures block mine profitably. Ooh, that's good. Okay, goodbye, Nahiri. So I no longer have first strike. Something good. That's pretty good. Actually, that's not that good here. <laughs> um, I can attack. I tap an elephant. Hit them for a bunch. They probably block with the Mole Drifter, maybe. Yep, so I get to kill the Mole Drifter. They can make me discard Savage Twister, but now they're dead to a top deck Vengeful Rebirth. Oh, wow. All into six. Pretty bold. Perfolk Looter. That 3 4 is a little bit problematic. I'm going to save the Twister. I mean, I know they can make me discard two cards at any time, but. Jungle Hollow. Yeah, I'm not going to risk that getting discarded, so I'm just going to play that. Getting more mana so I can twist her for more or something. So they can just block, but the board stall is really good for me because I get to draw things like Vengeful Rebirth, which is an instant kill, I think. No, but pretty much. Or Treasure Cruise. Um, Icy Manipulator tapping down their Kite Cell Freebooter. Okay. <laughs> that was a pretty rough factor fiction. I don't want to give them a pile of four because they do have a Merfolk Looter. So I'm going to do Vampire Envoy. I guess they're short on white mana, aren't they? Yeah, they have plenty of blue, but if they want white, then they have to take this page. Sure. So they took the two. Interesting. Very weird. They're down to 10 cards in library. So if I just get a well-timed Savage Twister, like clear the board, play a creature, play the thing that makes bird tokens, please. Oh man, I should have given them black mana to flash that back. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So they have two cards in hand. I can Savage Twister, but I think I just want to start with a Treasure Cruise. Oh, they're just dead. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Vengeful Rebirth. Getting this back. Killing them. Man, I didn't even get to kill all their creatures. <laughs> See you guys next round. All right, I'll keep this hand. It's no bounce land, but... I forgot I had Obzon Charm. That would have been pretty nice against their Tormentor. 
They go to six cards. Well, mulliganing against this deck is brutal. Esper Charm. So what do I want to do here? It probably doesn't matter, but if I draw a... I don't think it really matters. Um, if I draw a Bounce Land, I'm most incentivized to bounce the Dismal Backwater because it gains me life. Ooh, Spectral Sailor. Fortunately, that card doesn't matter until they get up to four lands, and hopefully I find a way to like electrolyze it by then. In fact, I'm going to play Vivid Marsh. Actually, yeah, I actually did sequence wrong, I think. Oh, never mind. We're going to play Mountain into Rakdos Signet. Days? Don't you dare. Okay. Not Days. It's actually worse. But I got a card out of my hand, which I guess matters. I sequenced my lands wrong, so I can't um, play the charms. They put two cards on bottom. Next turn, we're going to play the Citadel so that I can play Sunscourge Champion. Ooh, Mono Blue. Okay. This might be a tough matchup if they just go Mono Blue um, and just start drawing cards on four every turn. Because I currently don't have a way to kill Spectral Sailor. Yes, it entered tapped. All right, give me Electrolyze. Something. The Wanderer is not it. So I can't play into my charm, so we're just going to play Sunscourge Champion into Vivid Marsh. That'll give me the most availability to cast spells later. They sent me a message. Are you the Caleb posting YouTube videos? Yes, I am. <laughs> what tipped you off? The, uh, the ambitious mana base? <laughs> Did the mana tip you off? Ah, uh, they recruited enforcements. Opponent brought their friend in on Zoom to play against me. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. I'm down. Yeah, no problem for the delay. This will be fun. Let's do it. No amount of reinforcements will help you. I mean, maybe they will. Mono Blue is probably my worst matchup if they have a lot of counter magic. Okay, so let's play Vivid Marsh. My deck isn't bad, but not the best. My deck is all land. So I could play all the charms. I think I could play any spell in my deck. So drawing an Electrolyze here would be great. I just need this gone because they're down on cards and I'm going to get up on cards like very significantly. So if I could just find a way to get rid of their in the, the card advantage they have on board, that'll be really good. The thing is all of this stalling might cost them as far as time goes because these games are going to get grindy and they have two people deciding what to do. So. They'll take their advantage, I'll take my advantage, where they're down five minutes on the clock already. Whoa, main phase card draw. So they must have four spells in hand. That's the only thing I can gather from that. Or all lands. But it's not all lands because they played a tapped land last turn. So I think they now have five spells in hand. So I need to play all my things right now um, before it gets too rough for me. Like, I don't want to, like, do something on their turn because then they'll have mana up. They missed a land drop. That is good. Tranquil Cove is not good. So I can draw a Lightning Bolt. So let's Esper Charm to draw two. So that's blue, white, black. Because the Wanderer doesn't do anything here. Draw a Lightning Bolt. Okay, Nahiri will do it as well. Then I guess I'll play Tranquil Cove to make Nahiri more castable and hit for two. Man, yeah, if they tap out and I get to Nahiri the Sailor, that'll be good. Because I can go, is it Signet into Nahiri, kill the Sailor. But if they're holding up mana, well, I don't know, because they didn't, they drew cards main phase. Trumpeting Herd. Oh boy. Um, let's attack for two. The thing is, Nahiri's so good. Let's play, is it Signet? I want to hold up Obzon Charm if they counter it. There's, this is so hard. Um, tapping like this works because now I have green, black, white. Yeah, so let's play Izzet Signet. I'm going to play Nahiri. Because the upside is very high. But I was planning for if they did counter my um, Signet. I don't know why they would, but... Okay. I mean, I got a counter spell out of that. It's not the worst. And they don't get to draw a card either. So, like, basically, if they're countering my stuff, they're not drawing cards. And they're not impacting the board. So next turn, I want to do something like... Oh. They have sequenced it well. Where they draw cards the turns where somehow I'm not killing their thing. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. So I need an untapped land. Oh, that's... Ah. That's pretty good, but... It's pretty good. I guess I can... Um, Obzon Charm to draw a card. 
green, white, black. And then if I hit a land, I can Icy Manipulator plus Activation. Soul Tide Charm. Destroy target monocolored creature. That's probably more important than Icy Manipulator. I just don't want them drawing cards. That, blue. Oh, wait. This needs to be blue, green, black. I have all the charms. He's a charming young man. All right. I spent a lot of time sequencing that turn. Um, let's see what they got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can play Manipulator and Trumpeting Herd in the same turn now. Or Manipulator and the Wanderer. An untapped land lets me play probably just Stomper Trumpeting Herd. Although, I don't know, Manipulator on their mana when they're missing land drop seems really good. I wonder if I was just supposed to play Stomper or something. Because I have two wasted mana. And if they just... Yeah, maybe that was too aggressive. Uh, no, no, I think it's fine. Because then they could just hold up mana and I'm not really pressuring them. Um, and this deck is trying to win off card advantage and grinding them out. So, like, giving them the opportunity to draw one more card is probably not worth it. Especially if they can do something like draw a card, bounce my stomper. Oh, that was ideal. <laughs> Get in there, the Wanderer. Um, so, I want to play... I think I want to play the Wanderer plus Trumpeting Herd, with the Wanderer being more important of the two. Make some 3-3s. Three hit for 2. So now I have creatures in play that are pressuring them. Um, the Wanderer can answer any, answer any other big creature they might play. And then Icy Manipulator can do stuff. If they're holding up Counter Magic, they're going to lose to this anyway. Watcher for tomorrow. What is that? Ooh, that's a good card. Shriek Maw killing the elephant and is not evoked. Okay. Definitely casting this. Ingress Rampage. Not the best card right now, but I can bolt the Shriek Maw. One, two, three, four, five. I can Rampage the Coiling Oracle or I can save it. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to be the most mana efficient and we're going to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, target player sacrifices a creature. Then I Icy Manipulator. Just kidding, I play the Chunky Boy. Yeah, let's get more creatures in play. And then Icy Manipulator can surprise them. And then I want to save a land to eternalize the Sunscourge Champion, because I already have enough mana to do everything I need. They're also at 11, so like, Treasure Cruise into Vengeful Rebirth is pretty strong. Soul Tide Charm, he's dead, okay. I really, I guess they would have been able to cast that anyway. Okay, that's a good start. They also resolved two Delve creatures, which is kind of crazy. I wonder what the two mana is for. Whoa. Oh, right, watch it for tomorrow. Playing Lonely Sandbar is interesting. I can honestly say I did not expect that. So Vengeful Rebirth, they take five. I think they died of Vengeful Rebirth. Dance with Devils is also good. So I can play but not activate Icy Manipulator. That's okay. And I'm just going to resolve Dance with Devils while they're tapped out main phase. Because, you know, they could definitely have counter magic or something like that. And this way, even if they play a board wipe, um, they go to four life, which is pretty low. I have Icy Manipulator in play, which will do a lot of things. All right, game one down. Game two is going to get interesting. So let's see, the Stinger seems quite good against their deck. I do kind of like the Raging Regisaur. So what is the Stinger? Probably... Rampage would have helped against their 1-1 one -one that they had. I think Stinger is better than Rampage because it can hit face over and over again. I like the charms. Branching Bolt seems always good against them. I don't know if I need this card. It does prevent me from getting tempoed out, but maybe something like a Raging Regisaur would just be better because it hits for 5 a turn. They had... yeah, maybe that's just better. Um, I made my curve more top heavy, but I... what did I see from them? I think I could check the footage. I think it was just Condescend and Counterspell. Let me see. Yeah, it was just Condescend and Counterspell that I saw so far. So, I don't know. That's a lot of four drops. But, <laughs> hopefully I don't get too punished. No, no, that, I'm, no, I can't, I can't do that on the draw. That's way too greedy. <laughs> All right. Oh man, do I risk it? If I draw a single land, this hand is good. I don't think I can risk it. Yeah, this hand's way better. I'm going to keep this, and I do like Savage Twister. I think I'm going to keep the Twister and get rid of the Soul Tide Charm. 
because I, first of all, it's I don't think I can cast Soul Tide Charm yet, whereas I can cast Savage Twister. Well, that just makes more sense to me. Um, so I'm gonna play Tranquil Grove, and then I'm gonna play Selesnia Sanctuary. It doesn't let me electrolyze turn three, so I guess if they play a creature I want to kill, I'll play Vivid Grove first. I don't care about that though. Please don't hit a land. No, fine. The wander is nice, so yeah, let's go for max value. This effectively like negates it hitting me anyway because I gain an extra life this way, and I've already undone my mulligan. Um, we really just want them to commit a lot of creatures to the board. Hit him with the Savage Twister. Sure, some value. Tranquil Cove enters tapped. Then I can play Mountain for Electrolyze if I need. Yeah, these lands in addition with bounce lands are so good. Like I've gained two life. Which is relevant because that's like an extra turn that I can just take damage off their creatures and not worry. Mother Bear is a little bit more problematic. Swamp. So let's... How do I debate them? I'm going to play Mountain and try and electrolyze their creature. Um, and then if they spend mana to... This goes one on the bottom. Okay. Then if they spend mana to... Actually, do I want to kill Mother Bear now? Because what we really want them to do is make two bears and they can't condescend me yeah actually let's kill that now okay because we yeah we want them to spend their turn doing that and then i wipe the board and then we come back with like an armor back stomper okay they do nothing i have obs on charm available mm, if i do that i need double green to play armor back stomper but i can I can play Obs on Charm and Lightning Helix. That's got to be good. So they're going to flash in. Oh, they don't even have Spectral Sailor. That was an amazing turn for me. So I'm just going to take the damage. Watcher for tomorrow. Okay. And I really want them to Mother Bear. Because they didn't see any board wipes from me, I don't think. Ah, oh, man. Opponent's smart. All right. Well, we can do this. Draw two, lose two. Is it Signet? So... I guess I just want to Lightning Helix their creature while I have all the mana for it. They get the card, so that was a negative exchange for me, but I'm up on so many cards on them. Base Fetters is also quite good, so I'm actually not that worried about much. Let's just play Vivid Grove. Is it Signet? I guess we'll use the Sanctuary for the Signet. Now I have the ability to Savage Twister everything, and then I can play Arborback Stomper or something. They have been flooding a lot, which is unfortunate for them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Okay, so they don't have that much available now. Ooh, Sunlance is also good. So let's go for the Twister, just for two. I don't need black, I don't need red. Oh wait, that's too much mana. Start over. X is one, X is two. So that does two damage to everything. They have to have exactly Counterspell. Nice. Pass turn. They're just passing turn. That's good for me. Even Marsh is okay. I don't really want to run into Condescend, so we can just wait. Arborback Stomper will be good at any point during the game. Oh no, that's a problem. Oh man, that's so bad. That's, oh, that's what you don't want to see. But on the bright side, they're incentivized to spend all their mana drawing cards, so at least I can resolve a couple spells that matter. It is going to draw them like four cards though. They have a ninja? Oh. Interesting. I don't know if I agree with that. So let's play planes, sun lands, this thing. So if they want to draw cards, they need to do it now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can play the Stomper and Icy Manipulator. Okay, they didn't counter anything. I'm going to play the Manipulator and then jam the Stomper, I think. Although if they have a counter spell into Condescend, that would hurt pretty, pretty badly. Oh, Frilled Mystic. All right, well done. Now we play the Stomper. They daze, I'm gonna be, if they have Condescend or daze, I'm so dead. In fact, I maybe should have just face fettered, but Condescend's gonna be good anyway. Ah, that was a good sequence. That was a good sequence for them. How did they scry? Two cards on top? Bro, that's not even cool. Oh boy, so I can face fetters. If it's like treasure cruise in a counter spell, I'm just <laughs> I'm just so dead. 
Yeah, I guess I should have faced Svenner that turn instead of the Stomper. So what do I need to happen now? I need them to play a creature with four power. Whenever another creature dies, you make a 1-1. One, one. All right. Well, let's do this here. Play Jungle Hollow, go up to nine. I cannot play the Wanderer yet because they're just going to attack it. And that would be bad. You can't have more, right? I mean, they definitely can. They've drawn so many cards. Ugh. All right. So I need to draw a card that's not in my deck. I already used Lightning Helix. And if they kill stuff, they get one ones and clues. The Stinger does not do it. All right, game three it is. I'm not gonna, I could like play the Stinger and like waste time, but there's no point in doing that. Um, okay, so they have a lot of counter magic. Sun Scourge Champion seems more necessary now. Um, Cause it gets around counter magic with the Eternalize. I just get a four four, they can't stop. I do like the Stinger. All of these seem good. Genesis is very good against their Delve card, so I just have to keep it in for that regard. Branching Bolt is good. Like, everything's good against them. I just have to not get caught in the exact sequence. They may have made the Wanderer useless, so I guess I will cut the Wanderer. It was so bad that game. How do I feel about Raging Regisaur? It does ping for one every turn. It is better than the Stinger, I think. I'm just going to do that. It, like, pressures them. And it hits for five a turn, kills their one ones, blocks well. All right, let's do this. Let's go on the play. Bounce land, no mulligan. Perfect. Uh, we have a castable Mystic Genesis, which is kind of rare. And we're going to lead on. This gives me white mana and black mana. So let's lead on that. Then we're going to go Swamp is it Signet. Then I can cast Angress Rampage. What? They can't just have Opulent Palace. Dance with Devils is going to be good. So if I draw an untapped land, I can do that. Um, I really just wanted to get a spell in play. That way, I guess I don't have to discard with the bounce land anyway, but... Sunlands is nice. Let's play the palace. Pass turn. Next turn I can hold up Dance with Devils, and then I have Mystic Genesis. I'm probably going to save that for the late game, but you never know. Skittering Surveyor. Yeah, that's a good card. I can trade one of my Devils with it. Forest. Yep. Obzon Charm. I kind of like just main phasing Obzon Charm. Black, green, white. Um, and then we can play Vivid Grove. Pass turn. Because th this just makes it so, I don't know, if I want to play like Angrass Rampage plus Raging Regisaur, I can. Um, I could technically hold up Mystic Genesis this whole game, but that seems terrible. Towergeist. 2-2 two, two flyer, draw a card. So we're going to go Reggie into probably Sunlands the Towergeist. Put one into your hand and one into your graveyard. Green that for Reggie. He's a big boy. And kill your flyer. And for the sake of mana, I'm just going to play another Vivid Land past turn. So now I have a 4-4. Four, four. So now their counter spells aren't so good. So if they don't do anything too good, I can just hold up Mystic Genesis plus Dance with Devils. And then hit for 5 damage a turn. Which will be good. Sorry about the cars driving by. Nice. Ooh, I see manipulators. Let's attack for four. One damage to the face. That tells me they don't have a, a kill spell, like Soul Tie Charm, because they would have killed it in response. And I'm just going to play Jungle Hollow in past turn. Um, I have Dance of the Devil's end of turn. I can Mystic Genesis something scary. If they play the 1-1 one, one Flash, do I counter it? I don't think so, because I could just ping it to death. I really want them to just tap out for Treasure Cruise and I make an 8-8. Eight, eight. Treasure Cruise. All of your mana. Okay, let's resolve this. I mean, they're not playing around counter magic because... Thrilled Mystic, sure. So now they could have counter spell. Oh man, um, so they can double block, so we're going to make them sacrifice, let's add red, black, because I can still, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I can still Mystic Genesis, target player sacrifices a creature, that way they can't double block, hit them for damage, Spectral Sailor, are they going to double block? I am more than okay with a double block here. Okay. Let's 
go ahead and play Icy Manipulator now. Ah, but if they treasure cruise, but if they treasure cruise. No, we got to get it down while we can. This makes it so it's much harder for them to hold up counter magic in the future. So stop on their upkeep, tap down the opulent palace. F6, please don't treasure cruise me, but we are about to vengeful rebirth something. What? No! Oh man, that's bad. And then they treasure cruise? Please don't tell me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No! Oh god. This is the worst thing that could have possibly happened. Oh, I would have had an 8 8. Oh my gosh. All right. I draw planes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, that's so bad. Um, let's hold up Mystic Genesis, I guess. So, Cloud's Gate's coming down. It's going to kill my Genesis token. Yeah, that was literally the worst that sequence could have possibly gone for me. I mean, we try it, right? Blue, green. They can condescend or counterspell. Yeah. Man, they had everything every turn. Whoa. They must have a bounce spell. Did not expect that. Huh. Okay. Internalize, discard a card. So that's going to get bounced. Um, what do I want to do here? Now I have kind of free reign. I can Vengeful Rebirth hit them for 5 down to 10. But I kind of like face fetters on the striker. Get in for the 6 while I can. Because it's going to be 2 turns before the ooze gets killed. And hitting them for 6 here is really nice. They go to 9. So now Treasure Cruise is 1 away from lethal with Vengeful Rebirth. But obviously I have to draw Treasure Cruise to get there. Locks it on war. Oh yes! I got him! And they already got rid of Spectral Sailor. They only have two cards. Are they just dead? Attack for six again. Um, let's force them to counter this, I guess. Vengeful Rebirth getting back. I guess I want Icy Manipulator. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So if they have counter magic, I'm in trouble. Because they're gonna bounce that, do some damage. Yeah, I guess I need Icy Manipulator. Go face. If they don't have counter magic, they die. Please. They only have two cards in hand. No! Oh, I think I might die to this. Ah. Oh. Alright. Well done, opponent. So that was a good play by them not countering my ooze, I think, because then they got to counter my thing. They get to scry. They put one card on top, which is really bad for me. Ah. <sighs> We would have had it. So they're hitting me for five a turn and gaining five every turn and killing my ooze. They only have two cards in hand. They only have one card in hand. Savage Twister is kind of bad because it will kill the Sinuous Striker though. So we need to start off with a Treasure Cruise, I think. Opponent has drawn so many cards. Look at, oh, I guess they're down to 15. The, the Watcher made it look lower. Come on, deck. I believe. Non-land. Um, okay. Not necessarily what we wanted, but does gain me some life. They're going to counter this. <laughs> All right. Your deck's pretty good, opponent. I'll give you that. Or at least your draw this game has been fantastic. All right. That lined up so poorly. So I take seven, then they play a four, four. If I draw land, I can at least make a four, four and gain four. They drew mother bear. Come on. <laughs> oh boy. Soul tide charm. <sighs> I can kill the cloud skate. I can kill the Warhammer and take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These draws did not line up well. Yeah, I am. Okay, what do I even do here? I don't want to kill that. I don't know why they didn't play Hooting Mandrels, because Savage Twister... If they played Hooting Mandrels, I would have no chance. So I can kill Riftwing Cloud Skate. Stop sending messages. I gotta think. I can kill the Warhammer, which prevents the most damage over time. They play their 4-4. Four, four. I need to draw like Treasure Cruise, then Treasure Cruise, and then Embalm this. If I kill that, I take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. I guess I do this on upkeep. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll just do it on upkeep. Destroy target artifact. Kill this. So we know the card in their hand. Yeah, this draw just did not go well for me. So I'm going to gain four and make a blocker. So I need to draw like Treasure Cruise into Savage Twister or something. There's the cruise. That's a start. 
That's a good start. All right. Um, Rebirth is gone, so I don't think it matters too much what I hit. Reggie is good, but Sunlands, I guess, could be something I want. Nahiri. Okay. So let's go white, white, this, this. Eternalized Sun Scourge Champion. Getting rid of... Oh, wait, no. Let's play around counter magic a little bit. Let's go red, this. Jungle Hollow, that is a loud sound. Nahiri. I'm going to play the land first, that way I can eternalize the champion. That is a loud car. That way I can eternalize the champion using the Signet. This just plays around the most things. This is going to kill their Riftwing Cloud Skate. Then I make this guy. Discarding this. So I gain four, I go up to eight. What did they say now? Also, my first time on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, we got a game. Now my draws are pretty good, I hope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Drawn nine land, so there's only five, no, seven left in the deck. Uh, that's pretty bad. It's like a 50% chance. They're attacking her with both of these and me with this. So, I block. Hmm. I'm okay taking four. I think I'm just gonna block here. That lets Nahiri go to two and then I can kill Mother Bear. And then next turn I can trade off with the Hooting Mandrels. It gives them the card, which is something. I need to draw a spell this turn. Ooh, that's good for them. No, oh wait, oh no. That's, oh wait, no, they're gonna kill their own Striker, I guess. All right. Well played. So they have two lethal threats now, or they can just make one ones. Okay, they're just making one ones. Right? Yeah. I need to draw. I mean, they might have counter spell up now. That's not a spell. Well, Nahiri's gonna kill Mother Bear. So I could have won on time if I had stalled my opponent out last game, but it's not worth it. I think I'm just dead here, but I am going to play the Sanctuary to gain one life off this jungle hollow. Drawing a land there was pretty bad. I think I might have had a chance if I didn't draw land. Wow, they had it, all right. GG's. Yep, I mean, they, they drew their whole deck, really, so. Good, good games, I mean, those were very close. I, I don't think I could have asked for a better game against Spheres. Whew. <laughs> so you guys, in round three. All right, we are... Gonna keep this hand. That is a castable soul tie charm right there. Duress? <laughs> oh man, not only do they have to discard a card for this, but they have to see what they're dealing with, and it is glorious. I don't think that's why I don't like this card main deck. And that's why I advocate for not playing creatures if you're gonna like imagine if I just had one good creature in hand, it'd be in, we'd be in trouble. Let's play I don't really want them to know what I'm drawing. Although I guess Opulent Palance they'll know about eventually, so maybe I do. Oh, ooh, Riftwing? Oh, Lesser Masticore, okay. It has Persist. Yeah. I really don't care about that, though. Now I'm going to play Tranquil Cove, because I might want white mana for something. It's a 2-mana two 2-2. Two -two. I guess they might have Reanimation, right? Oh, no. I've yet to see a Reanimator strategy, but that would be something. And Soul Tide Charm does not deal with it. Face Fetters does. So let's go ahead and play... Opulent Palace, it lets my mana have a bit more flexibility. Um, I need an untapped land if they do reanimate this. I don't know if reanimator is in this cube. I think it is, but maybe they're just playing a 7 mana 7-5. Seven That's totally possible. Let's go ahead and play an Is It Signet into Dismal Backwater. They might counter this, but that gives me red mana. So now I have full Wooberg and can do anything I want. Take two. I mean, I've gained so much life off of these. I'm only at 17. And they've down to three cards. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get rid of this, I guess. There are so many cards. Hang on. Maybe that'll help. Uh, what do I do? I think I just pass turn. Have all my mana. We can dance with devils. Block lesser Masticore. Although they can just pay mana to kill something. I'm gonna take the hit for two. They only have three cards in hand, so it's not that worrisome. Okay, so end of turn. I guess I can just electrolyze this. 
I wonder if I was supposed to Soul Tide Charm. Oh, Sunlands will just kill it. Also, um, Dance of Devils will just kill it. Mountain there was perfect. We play Mountain. I think I'm just going to pass turn and Dance with Devils. And this forces them to do something. They can only kill one. So the, the hope here is they spend four mana to kill a Devil. Because if I block, then I lose both Devils. And I don't really like that. So their best interest, I think, is just to let it happen. But it's so tempting to get value while you can. Ah, man, opponent figured it out. Um, I guess that's fine. I could just take one. I don't actually need that thing dead. But the hope was that they would, like, get ambitious and kill one before blocks and then do something else. Far and away. Fair enough. They bounce that. I sacrifice one. I do one to their face. Problem is they have to, like, they're not actually gaining much value from that because they still have to discard a card. Yeah, I don't think that was really what they wanted. So let's just Sunlands that. It comes back. That's fine. Um, can I treasure cruise? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. I can also just trumpeting herd though, and that seems quite nice. Getting some big chonkers into play. Hit for one. If they want to trade, they can. Yeah, I, I mean, they've drawn pretty terribly. They harsh scrutinied. They discarded a seven drop, and then... <laughs> They played, like, they drew only land. One, two, three, four. What? What? One, two, three, four. Okay. Don't mind that. They're playing their last card, which is going to have flying. Esper Charm. All right, that's actually quite good for them. It's a good last card to have. One of those was a land. Man, poor opponent. They're going to have all action coming on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually... No, they've drawn about the rate you would expect. It's a little bit worse. Ooh, Nahiri's good. This is like max value Nahiri. Um, so I want to hold up Soul Touch Arm. So that's blue, green, black, yes. Minus one. Hit for one. And I don't think there was a way for me to hold up Soul Touch Charm and Branching Bolt. I can face fetters that guy. This only kills monocolored creatures, and this is colorless. Oh, oh no, opponent. I'm sorry, but not really. Yoink. Good for four. I don't know, it feels like they're playing reanimator, but I've never seen reanimator strategies in this cube. Esper with a bunch of eight drops seems bad, so I don't know. Island is good. Let's hit for a bunch. Set up a treasure cruise. Ooh, one, two, three. All right, pass turn. And everything is first strike too, which is kind of funny. You got it. Uh, do I want to kill that? They get an island, they play the island. I don't really want to kill that. Just let it happen. Let's play the... Well, let's attack. I think I'm going to play the Stomper. Two, three, four, five. Play you. Because I want to Selesnya Sanctuary back the Jungle Hollow. They have Counterspell. Essence Capture. Fair enough. Sanctuary, Bouncing Jungle Hollow. I did not actually hold up any of my things. I played that a bit sloppy. I don't think it matters really. They can attack the Wanderer. I will just chump with the Devil. Because keeping my life toll high is important. Or keeping the Wanderer high so it can exile any other big chunky dudes is important. Anything but a Mole Drifter. Un what? Why? <laughs> Why do you need that guy? I don't get it actually. I think we're just gonna face fetters that hit for three. I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing because opponent's playing very strange. Okay, like yeah. <laughs> Unbarrel rights is a problem for the deck. Um, but I think I like to be well, I guess one way I could die is just getting tempoed out, so we'll keep the champion in. Wow, this is the the cleanest mana base I've had. I get to Sunland something and then Espertarm. They mulliganed. I hope they kept in their discard. Okay. Yeah, this is actually going to be a good curve. No bounce lands or any tap lands feels weird. There we go. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to play Sunscourge Champion on turn 3 instead of Esper Charm. They could Essence Capture, but whatever. Play you. This is not the order you want to draw your lands in, but it doesn't matter that much. I really want to know what their deck does, because I have no idea. Ooh, Dance with Devils. Um... 
Yeah, I guess that's fine. I'll get that in play. Getting cards in my graveyard is good for treasure crews anyway, and I don't mind hitting them for damage. They're doing absolutely nothing. This is so weird. Okay. All right. <laughs> Am I going to win a game without them doing a single thing? That would be so crazy. Go. Also, this is like perfect Wooberg. Wow, this is actually beautiful. Green, white, blue, red, black. In sequence. Opponent could complain, but I have Vivid Grove. And like, so far, still no spells cast. I'm just going to draw. Okay. Hit for four. If this goes through, they're like close to dead. Far away. So they bounce that. I sacrifice a creature. Um... I guess I just sacrifice Sunscourge Champion. Then I can eternalize it as a 4-4. Four four, or Embalm or whatever. This, I have to use white, but I don't care that much. Because I'm going to just play a Bounce Land. And discard the Plains. Oh, I should have kept up red. It doesn't matter that much, but... Uh, maybe I'll just discard Vivid Marsh. I have plenty of mana. And, you know, maybe I want to cast an easier Tranquil Cove or something. Or, I mean, um, Treasure Cruise. Well, they have a Plains now. Carnarium is good, so let's hit them for 5. If they have, like, Aetherize, that would be so bad. But they did take the damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're just going to Treasure Cruise without playing around days. Actually, I can afford to play around days. Let's play around days. Alright, that... Mm, I guess I just bolt their face. Put them to five. I don't want to discard the hand size. This is the weirdest game I've ever played. <laughs> they just played only lands. I'm going to hit him with the Angrass Rampage. I don't understand this deck at all. Good game. Target player sacrifices a creature. I appreciate them going for it at least. All right, that was so close to a trophy. Um, good games against opponent round two. Some lucky draws for them, I think, but they also played really well. So the games were just good. Um, I wouldn't change anything about my deck. It was quite perfect. See you guys next time.